Mami, sí. Ay, ay, ay. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the room. Well, welcome to the room. This isn't Clubhouse. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Um, I'm going to give you all some time to get in here. If you don't already know, my name is Natasha Hastings and this is my channel. Welcome to the place to be. I have some bad news. <laughs> so let me give it, give y'all some more time to get here. But in the meantime, share, like this video. Let's get some folks in here. How's everybody's week going? It's Thursday. We're almost to the weekend. My son might come in here. He was just in here. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> share this like, share this like, share the link with your peeps. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Oh, Jeffrey, you come through every week. Thank you so much for this super chat. Tea time hype. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. Every dollar helps. Um, I feel you. I feel the same way. When I get off of here, I'm going to take my son outside to play a little bit. And then I'm coming in to do some work. Anthony Paris. <laughs> this is a little bit of what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> because the title of this live is misleading. Um, because unfortunately, I have to res we have to reschedule. Um, after last week's live with Tinsley, um, I was just like, I can't do this uh I want I want to present something that I'm proud of um and right as I got on to you know share the link with uh the girls um those of you that don't know um I was supposed to be live right now with Marla Kay and Ashley unfortunately my interviewing software is down and so I was trying to do some troubleshooting rushing and I was just like I don't want to give another subpar um show I don't want to do that to myself or to show girl who you think you are <laughs> uh subpar tea time and I didn't want to do that to Ashley and Marla K. so I said look let's reschedule we're gonna come up with a day um I will be sure to post everywhere. That was another thing. I didn't really do promo this week. This week has been crazy. Um, my desktop is finally fixed, but I have to go downtown to pick it up. I, I just didn't want to give a, a, a subpar tea time. So we will reschedule. But in the meantime, I was like, let me come through and see my peeps anyway. We can have a one-on-one -on -one tea time. If y'all are cool with it, I'm cool with staying on for a little while and just chit-chatting and spilling some tea if we may 
um, during this time because I didn't want to abandon my commitment while at the same time honoring giving the ladies a tea time that we can all be pleased with. Um, so yes, my moderator Natalie is in the comments. Definitely throwing up the reminders. Guys, there's 25 of us in here right now. If you can share this, like this, get as many people in here as possible. A few weeks ago, we tapped out at 60 in here at one time. It, let's get to 75. Let's get to 100. Let's get some folks in here. Let's have a, you know, some tea time. Aisha, you're working, so you're cool with it. Yeah, man, I just, I wanted to, you know, do something. Um, I want to make sure that, uh, Oh, let's talk about this. What did you think? What did you think? I'm a big Wendy Williams fan. <laughs> and I watched both the movie and the documentary twice. Um, I had time this weekend to do that. So I definitely indulged. Um, Godspeed S. Yes, I am racing this year. Um, my coach and I kind of talked a little bit about that today. Guys, if you're just getting in here, please continue to share and like the video. Um, over the last week or so, a little over a week, I've been having some back trouble. Um, so I've been in and out of my chiropractor. Um, Monday, Tuesday, my coach was like, go home. I can see that you're in pain. Stop it. Um, so actually, I went to my chiropractor yesterday and got some treatment went to practice today and it was like nothing happened now mind you I've been going to a chiropractor <laughs> I went to the chiropractor Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and I went I saw him once last week and today was like good so say all that to say um I'm hoping to get on the track in like the next two to three weeks I'm hoping to get a couple of races in and really get a feel for where I am in training. So yes. Oh yes, I love that. I still have mine too. You know, I'm all about affirmations and speaking positively to yourself. Um, how old is the baby? He is 18 months, 18 months going on 35. <laughs> He is grown. So, yes. Godspeed, yes. I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous about getting back on the track. But that's to be expected. That's normal. Par for the course. Um, yeah. So, actually, I did have a plan to talk about something um, before getting into the live. And I guess, I guess as fate would have it, I guess this was meant to be a one-on-one -on -one tea time. Um, so yeah, keep dropping your comments in. Hopefully I'll get through my little sh spiel um, <laughs> and um, without getting too distracted by the comments. But um, you guys should know or know by now that I'm studying clinical mental health. And um, currently I'm in a course called Diversity and Multiculturalism. And what I've been enjoying about the process is I have been able to grow and like find things out about myself and have like new awakenings. And it's just been a really awesome experience. And um, this last week, um, uh, our lessons was on the... Um, LGBTQIA plus community. And one of the overarching um, themes of my program is checking our biases and our um, privilege and, you know, making sure that we're in tune with who we are and what our biases are so that we don't cause harm to our um, patients or clients or however you want to term it. And so a couple of things happened timing wise where I was like I need to go back on my channel and correct myself <laughs> because if you were here um 
two weeks ago when um, Corey Carter and I were on a tea time and um, a question about um, Caster Semenya came up and um, Corey and I, you know, in my opinion, we tried to be respectful and, you know, kind of gave our, um, I guess, opinions. Um, but one of the things that I am learning um, is as well-intentioned as you may be because of your biases, because of your privileges that you may not be aware of, some of the things that you say can still be offensive um, and oppressive. Um, and if you will kind of think of it like the person who says something that's offensive and, but I'm not racist. I could, I would never mean anything like that. And, um, getting to the point <laughs> in my studies, um, I'm realizing that I have some views that are most definitely affected by my biases. And, um, a couple of things that stuck out to me was that, um, you know, the LGBTQIA plus community um, has decisions made for them that are made for them, not by them. And with that in mind, <laughs> we don't have their experience. Um, and so we don't have the, um, the experience essentially to kind of make these calls for themselves. And when, you know, I think about as a woman, I'm always advocating for more female journalists, more women in positions to make the decisions that affect us. And so when I read that, I was like, totally, I have an opinion about something that doesn't affect me. And I, I spoke about that. Um, and as well intentioned as I may have been, because I have not had to sit with being a heterosexual and what that means. And you know, having to explain that or there is privilege in being heterosexual. And I had to realize that. And I was like, you know, I may have said some things that um, in my ignorance was offensive. And that is not my intention at all. And to take it a step further, I watched um, Michelle Lewis, um, Michelle Freeman. I always want to call her Lewis. Um, but Michelle Freeman's Track Girls interview with Cece Telfer. And she said a few things that I was like, you got to check yourself, girl. So I just wanted to clear that up. Um, or I don't even know if clear that up is the proper um, uh, term. But what I want to say is as a hopeful mental health professional, um, my goal is to be um, unbiased and an advocate for anyone who walks in my office. And with that being said, um, you know, I will do my best to empower, um, my clients and, and anyone, uh, I especially have a passion for marginalized communities and, um, want to do my part. So I just wanted to share that little tidbit. Um, I don't know if that touches anyone or anyone even understands where I'm coming from. I just, in my journey of going through school, these are things that I'm having to realize and come to terms with. Um, and if I want to be an effective therapist, um, things that I want to make sure that I, um, am cognizant of. So I don't see any questions about what I was talking about, which is fine, but I see some, <laughs> some questions that I will get to. What leg do you normally run for the U.S.? Eh, I would say it's probably between second and third leg. Um, Tasha has been up late again. <laughs> oh, has us up late again, because I was about to say, yeah, Liam's playing with the sleep. Next minute, she'll have us UK people picking then shelling fresh pigeon peas for the rest. You're funny. You are really funny. Um, yes, Natalie. Thank you. Remember to like and share. I see some more people came in here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Definitely going to race. I'll be racing this season and um, making an attempt to get on one last Olympic team. 
I have never heard this before, but I love it. Brit Trini. We won't be laughing when we're picking peas, but the Pelau will taste good, especially if Tasha's Brit Trini mother is at the pot. This is true. My mom makes a mean Pelau. So, what do you guys want to talk about? Oh, okay. That was more like, hey. <laughs> They're saying they're down to um, reschedule. So, and again, I apologize that we were not able to do tea time with Morla Kay and um, Ashley today, but I wanted to make sure that I give you all a quality production. And as you see, like the camera isn't even, and you know what, my brother will be back to um, I have a camera to stream from. We all know webcams are, they're, quality is not good at all so <sighs> um any thoughts about the american track league races so far you know i'm just i'm personally this one that happened this past weekend was better than the first one um and from what i understand the usatf um pulled some of their resources into um so to give a little bit of background on that, um, the American Track League is actually hosted by an agent who is using his resources to put on meets so that American athletes have races. Um, and after the first week, um, some people complained about, I guess, the quality of the production. And like, you know, there's all the talk about getting viewership and blah, blah, blah. Um, I shouldn't say blah, 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 because that sounds dismissive, but it, uh, that is a real thing for us. Um, so the USATF um, pulled some funds into the event to help out with the production. So you could tell <laughs> that there was a difference. Um, but the main thing, honestly, was to make sure that the athletes, um, that we can get some competitions in because we need competitions to get ready for the trials and the trials to get ready for the Olympics. So... Um, you know, we just got to take what we can get at this point. Um, I'm reading the questions when I should be pulling them up. So I hope that answered my question about, um, <laughs> what I thought about the meat. And, and that's actually the meat that I'll be running in, um, God willing in the next couple of weeks. So, uh, do you think the USA has a chance to break the four by 400 world record this year? You know, I think so. I do. Um, if I could echo what I said last week to Tinsley about um, the year of rest that none of us knew we needed, <laughs> um, coupled with the talent that um, from the 400 down to the 400 hurdles, it is quite possible. It is quite possible. Um, Coach SWD0, thank you. What you said will help me try to be more aware of my own biases when dealing with teens. Yeah, um, and, and I hope, you know, as I said, that I want to be an advocate for all people, especially marginalized people and, um, you know, people that, I don't even want to say feel like, that their voice is silenced, essentially. And, um from the mental health aspect of things when I sat back and listened to CC Telfer's interview um and just when I read my peer reviewed um articles and such and do my research I was convicted and I was like yeah like this is not something I don't know what it's like to walk in their shoes and you know when you give me this perspective I can totally see how I could be as well-intentioned as I may be, but it's veiled by my bias. And in being veiled by biases, it's offensive. It's contributing to the oppression that they face. And quite frankly, I don't want to be a part of that. So um, Santa Lucia, um, thank you. 
Uh, ooh, let me see. <laughs> Please tell me if I get this right, because I, I want to give it a try. Um, Oluwafemi, Oluwafemi Abraham, tell me if I, if I uh, did that right. And if you can give me the phonetic uh, pronounce, pronunciation if I didn't do it right. Um, I was out of indoor track seeing a Kinison Elite Invitational, and there you go, seeing this on live. Um, Mike Larry, man. Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody's not getting their way. Who would I like to be on the 4x4? Four ah, four? Oh, man, that's a loaded one. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to have to see how the season plays out and see what fitness everybody's in because it's like, how do I choose? Um, the, the, the two 400 hurdlers are at the top of my list. <laughs> um, of, of like, I'm, I'm reading this question. It's like my dream team. So you've got Dalila Muhammad, Sidney McLaughlin, Allison Felix, myself, um, another mom, um, Oh my God. I'm looking at her race in my head because she raced last week and I was like, girl, you look good. Um, Quinera Hayes, um, Phyllis Francis, Ashley Spencer, um, Francina. Like there's just so many, um, so many of us to choose from. How, how do you choose? Liam wants to answer questions, right? <laughs> he, I, you know, he's, I don't want to say he's going through a weird, he's always been like a mama's boy and wants to be up under me. And as long as he can see me, sometimes I'm like, go play with your toys. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here. And he's a thing boo. Yeah. Um, but he likes to be with his mommy and I like the cuddle. Oh. The way my mom said, no, no, I was like, oh no, did something happen? So guys, share the, the link. Give us a thumbs up. I'm appreciating this time. Again, I'm sorry that Morla Kay and Ashley are not here, but I wanted to make sure that I gave a quality tea time. I went back and looked at the footage of tea time with me and Mike, and I wanted to, we had some moments cause we definitely went down memory lane and it's clear <laughs> why I refer to Tinsley as my work husband. And I was just like, that was just a poor production. And I did not want to backdoor another one, um, with poor quality. So my desktop is finished. I'm going to go pick it up. I'm going to do some troubleshooting and make sure <laughs> that we can do a proper tea time. Um, so, but I guess I'll share that. Um, we will reschedule with, um, I'm actually, I, hopefully I can reschedule them for, there's one Thursday this month that I don't have scheduled for tea time. Look at me scheduling in advance. <laughs> um, Next week, we actually have my good friend, Eric Kennard, joining us for tea time. So get your questions together. Get your, your thoughts in, ladies. He is not single, so don't come with that question. Um, <laughs> but we'll have Eric next week and then possibly... Um, <laughs> Was it him or was it me? I don't even know who to blame on that one. I don't know if it was my internet connection or his because I messed around with my Wi-Fi. That's another thing that I'm going to get taken care of. I'm going to get an Ethernet cord, which Ethernet is better than um, Wi-Fi anyway for other reasons. But um, yes, <laughs> I looked back at that footage and I was like, no, 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 no way I can post a highlight of this but we had an incredible time just catching up with each other. And that's essentially the vibe that I want tea time to give of like 
what we are off the track and not the stoic, serious, you know, people that you see on the track. But we do have a good time. Um, <laughs> it's so funny. I feel y'all on a thing, a, a thing, a, a thing. How do you say? See, I want to make sure that I say people's names right. I feel y'all on her too. She's killing it. Killing it. She's, um, did she set? No, she didn't set an American record, but she's run like in the top five all time already. Right? Yeah, my boy Eric will be here next week. Actually, yesterday was his birthday. Yesterday was his 30th birthday. So if y'all follow him on Instagram, go show him some birthday love. Kellyanne Baptiste. Um, I should be able to make that happen. I'm trying to think who I can contact. Because I, I don't directly have... Oh, I, duh. I'll get her information and try to get her on here. That should be easy enough. You know who um I... She popped up on my feed the other day and I was like, I'm going to ask her. But the time zone, Dina Asher Smith, I love her. I'm like a fangirl for Dina. She's just so fast, so gorgeous, so everything. <laughs> I'd love to get her on here. Um, but the time zone difference, we would, we would have to figure it out because I know that would be tough with her being in Europe and she's competing right now too. Yep. I got Sydney on the list. I'm gonna try to get Sydney on here. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stay on for a few more minutes. So get your questions in and then I'm going to go be a mom and get some work in. Um, William Green, you missed that. I had have to reschedule Marla Kay and Ashley because um, I was having some trouble with my interviewing software. And I said, you know what? After last week's um, poor production, I don't want to backdoor with another poor production. I want to make sure that Ashley and Marla Kay get a dope tea time experience. So we will have to reschedule. But since I already had this scheduled, I said, let me come through and grace y'all with my presence. So... Eric Kennard will be here next week and then possibly the week after. But I'll ask them if you guys are cool with me um, coming on another day of the week. Maybe we can do it like another day. I wonder if they would be okay with doing it on Saturday because they, I believe they compete this weekend. Shamir Little. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's another good one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I hope I don't let y'all down because if I don't get her. <laughs> yes, I love her too. She's so dope. She's so dope. Um, you know, I was going to ask if you guys want athletes from other sports. Um. I'm, I'm putting together, attempting to put together a um, panel for a Women's Day. And I did reach out to um, one athlete from another sport. Um, and I want to reach out to uh, a couple other athletes. So I do want to mix it up. Mondays are the best. Why are Mondays the best? Should I move to Mondays? What do I have going on on Mondays? Mondays is a long day for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always, I'm always going to leave the videos here so you can come back and watch whenever. But, you know, the live experience is the better experience in my opinion. <laughs> Mike Larry, only track and field. Why only track and field athletes? Other athletes... Love the sport too. Tina Asher Smith is melanin magic. Shows she needs more dark skinned women in the modeling arena. Yes, yes, yes. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Oh, I'd love to have Veronica on the line. 
love to, love to, love to, love to. Definitely going to have to get Michelle on here for sure. Monday is your travel day. Okay, okay. Track athletes have the best stories. You, I think other athletes have good stories too. I did a um a thing with the Women's Sports Foundation yesterday. I don't know if anyone tuned in for that. That's also living on um, YouTube. It was a YouTube live experience. And um, there was um, a rugby player. Oh, God, I can't remember her name now. I think it was Maya was her name. Um, and she had a story about playing a prank on her coach and acting like she was, um, what is it? Talking in her sleep <laughs> and her coach really believed it, but it wasn't true. I think other, other athletes have cool stories too. Yes, she is. Veronica is a bad girl. I don't know if I got Candace Parker pull, but <laughs> maybe I'll get there one day. <laughs> Karan Clement. Now that's someone that I'll, I have funny stories with. Karan Clement and I were roommates at one point. Um, we were both training with Bobby Kersey at the time and living in LA and we were roommates. That's, that's, that's my boo. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to wrap it up. couple more questions. And then I'm going to, I'm actually hungry. And I, I need to actually be hydrating too. All right, well, Mondays are great because it could be right after a meet. That's, that's a good point. That's a good point. You know what? I need to be writing these names down because, uh, oh no, the, my master list is right here. Mm -hmm, definitely, I got Sonia on there already. Um, so he said, I didn't have her on here already. I have Karan on here. Uh, Sharika. Sharika's already on here. Yeah, she's already up there. Uh, Tony McQuay. Uh, my first meet will probably be in two weeks at the um, American Track League in Arkansas. Oh, that's what I wanted to write down. Muna, BCV. I've got Karan. Michelle. Okay, I didn't miss anybody. Everybody's on the list. Is there good camaraderie between Black American athletes and Black athletes from other countries? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think that's one of the coolest things about um, track and one of my earliest memories Um. I haven't really done it actually in recent years. No, that's a lie. We like exchange um, uniforms. That's still a thing. Um, and like we all have like, you know, even though we're competing, we all still have like our favorite, just like I just had like a fangirl moment over Dina. Um, <laughs> we all have our, um, you know, moments where uh, we uh, cheer each other on and like, it's good to see, you know, other athletes. Before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, yeah, I would say so. <laughs> Lloyd was good with everyone. Everyone. Um, and... <laughs> Quite possibly. If we can get this dang Rona under control and there is a 2022 carnival, count your girl in. Count your girl in. Oh my goodness, you guys spoke Michelle Carter up. <laughs> <sighs> Nicholas, 
I am on YouTube Live, and they literally just asked me about you. Really? <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Okay, well, call me back. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> what are the odds? <laughs> okay. I have... Okay, get this question up here. <laughs> I have asked my mom to get on here. So, my mom... First of all, let me read this. Get your mother on. We want to know when Tasha got in trouble from teeth and food from the Dutch pot and got lost at West Indian Labor Day. Or I don't have any of those stories, <laughs> but I'm sure she has stories. But I've asked her to come on. I'll, I'm going to try to get her on. I'm going to try to get her on. My mom is a track head, track fan. She will, any of you in here that think you know everything about track, you ain't met Joanne Hastings yet. <laughs> Uh, Nigeria will be the next track and field powerhouse. Possible. Possible. I miss Michelle too. <laughs> wow. You'll have to you'll have to um pose that question when I get them on here. <laughs> You'll learn Yoruba and sing WizKid songs to her. Okay, okay. Is is WizKid a Nigerian um, artist? <laughs> exactly, exactly, Aisha. Agreed, agreed. Oh, yes. Uh, sorry, I saw that come up. Um, my coach and I want to do some, like, speed events some off so definitely gonna try to do like a two three hundred situation I may even if they allow me to hop in the 60 um those of you that know me know that I like to start off um doing fast stuff so <sighs> Oh, I never told this story. I feel like, you, okay, so it says Aisha, Asia Snow, you've asked several questions. I hope I've been pronouncing your name right. Um, you never mentioned the pic on your thumbnail of you and Allison Felix at the World Championships. You forgot to tell the story behind it. So the story behind that photo, <laughs> um, it's funny how you can have like moments of like, I, I look when I look at that picture, I know exactly what I said in that moment and what happened. And um, I know what I said. I don't know if at the time her split was announced or if I just knew she ran something stupid. So that thumbnail is from um, the four by four world championships, 2015. Anybody that remembers that race, um, Sonia was lead off leg. I was second leg. Allison ran third leg and Francina anchored. And um, I gave Allison the stick in probably like second or third place. And Allison took that stick and brought us to the lead. And... I watched Allison run her leg and I was like, homegirl, you are the MF and goat. And that's what I said to her in that picture. And that's why we were laughing. <laughs> I didn't know that she ran 47 yet. I just knew you are the MF and goat. And that's what you saw in that picture. Whoever that photographer were was captured that moment. And that's what we were laughing at. <laughs> so there's the story behind that moment. <laughs> and that is my absolute favorite photo of Allison and I. I don't think we have very many. No, we do have some photos together. Um, we visited the Eiffel Tower together. Um, it was actually hanging in my house for a while. Myself, her, Jenny, and Dawn. 
Uh, this is when I was training with Bobby Kersey. Yeah. See, Mike, Larry, I brought it in second place and Jamaica was far ahead. Yep. And Allison ripped that leg up, open, wide, down, up, between. <laughs> and I was like, girl, you are the MF and goat. And I didn't say it that way. <laughs> I didn't give y'all the clean one. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> yeah, despite the outcome, there seems to be some cool movements from that 2015. Listen, I, I, listen, you got to give respect where respect is due. And like, the Jamaicans ran their off. And, and even, so let me backtrack. Going into that final, I knew that was going to be a crazy race because... They had four, three finalists, one of which medaled, right? Because um, that race was the 400, Allison won. I think Shawnee got the silver. And um, who was the bronze? The um, Sharika. Sharika was bronze. Um, and then they had the two other finalists. And I was like, this is about to, this ain't about to be no walk no cake walk like this is about to be a race um because Allison was Allison and Phyllis were our finalists um and so it, <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. The way she ran that leg, I would believe so. But she didn't. And we're the silver medalists. And that's just that's just what it is. <laughs> but I just know before we walked off that track, <laughs> Allison needed to know. You already know this. <laughs> but I'm telling you <laughs> that you are the MF and GOAT. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? I can't stand you. They get carried where I'm from, too. <laughs> oh, man. Man, man, man. Bryn Morty, 47-7 leg. Yep, 47-7. I, I just knew watching that leg, I was like... She just ran something stupid. We didn't get the split until we walked up um, and did our uh, post-race press. And uh, Lewis Johnson told us her split. And I was like, uh, I knew. <laughs> I knew. <laughs> so I guess that's a good place to end the live. That's a, a good little tidbit story it wasn't it actually is my only four by four silver medal no 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 <laughs> take that back i have one other uh great britain the world indoors 2012 um so those are my only two uh four by four silver medals but i mean still great moments still moments i see it too girl I see it too. Let's meditate on it. Let's you gotta see it before it happens. I did not see it yesterday, but I'm gonna go back and watch it. Because I've I've actually been um catching his lives. I saw one week before last with Christian Taylor. And then I think before that he did Jeremy Warner. Is he on my list? Jeremy's birthday was the other day too. Nope. Gotta get Jeremy on here. I want to do this. Maybe you can react to races in the future and watch the videos with us. That would be fun. I, I've done something similar to this, like when I was pregnant um, and uh, the year before that when I was out for my knee. Um, but it should, you just I just want to be careful with the whole copyright and because I do monetize these. So um, thank 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tiana is definitely on the list. Yep. She's here. Let me write her last name. Me and Shake Straight, me and Perry was going back and forth that year. <laughs> I came across a picture the other day. Um, uh, of she and I competing. Sorry. Every time I say, okay, guys, I'm going to end it here, you come through with some questions. So, see? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my mom on. I'm going to get my mom on. But you know what? That's a good tea time. There's one week this month that I don't have scheduled, so maybe I'll put her in there. And we can actually do that together. We don't need interviewing software for that because she's here with me. Marvin Bracey is not on my list, so let me. Now I can't promise that I can get all these people, but I'm gonna try. I am gonna try. You know, some people might not wanna come to my little, uh... <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I'll definitely show her the comments. But man, listen, y'all just got to get her going with some track questions and you won't, we won't be able to get rid of her. So she loves the sport. Okay, guys. I got Tish Porter on here. Oh, LaShawn did one the other day with someone. Oh, he did one with my um, my college teammate. All is well, Aaron. All is well. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're well, too. All right, guys. I said 30 minutes. It's been 47 minutes. Again, my apologies that Morla K and Ashley could not be here today. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try to update my laptop. Um, but I'm also going to go get my desktop today. It's finally ready. They texted me this morning and said it is ready. I'm going to get my camera set up so we don't stream from the computer anymore. <laughs> we are going to upgrade the quality of tea time. Um, so I hope you all enjoy. You want to you wanna talk to my brother? I wonder if he'll do that. I wonder if he'll do that. My brother's, um, I love my brother. He's, he's, we fight <laughs> like siblings. Um, but, uh, he's 12 years, my junior. So we, uh, he's like my firstborn. So next week we will have Mr. Eric Kennard in the building my great friend and we'll be here chit-chatting it up you would have built me a computer you built computers hold on now <laughs> maybe we can bribe him with some cow and goat or Milo tea or something. Man, listen, Liam only drinks breast milk. He don't know nothing about that other stuff. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you guys, thank you for bearing with me, even though, you know, didn't go scheduled, didn't go as planned, right? I, I don't know. Um... As usual, subscribe, like, continue to share this video if you want to go back and watch it if you missed anything. You know, just, it'll be here. And I will see you next week with Eric Kennard. Bye, guys. Happy 
Thursday.